So one of the questions that I've had a lot recently is about whether backlinks actually work. And this comes down to some recent news that was announced about how backlinks are not that important. So today in this video, we're going to look at whether backlinks actually work, some proof. We'll look at facts over opinions. We'll look at some example case studies and that sort of thing, because as you can see from this particular article by Search Engine Journal, the news was that links matter less than any other time in SEO history. So we're going to look at some keywords and I'll pull those up. One of the things that I want to start with is this particular tweet by Corey Tugberg, who says the three most useless SEO advices that SEO influencers keep giving are write helpful content, write great content, and links are not that important. Now, this is interesting because Corey isn't a link builder, but even he says that links is still one of the most important ranking factors. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with one particular website that's performing really well as an example over the last few updates. Now, this is really important to look at because if you look at this particular website, reddit.com, and we'll check out the traffic for this website, as you can see, is going to the moon. Not only that, but his backlinks over time are just increasing all the time. Now, I wouldn't say personally that Reddit has the best content in the world. I wouldn't say like it's written by experts. There's a lot of keywords it's ranking for that don't really make sense. And I'll explain why in a second. All right, so let's look at this particular example, right? So we've got a keyword ranking right here, iPhone 15 Pro Max that Reddit is ranking for. And this is a KD55. Now, if we actually look at the page, you can see right here that it's not written by experts. It doesn't really match the search intent of the keyword. This is a massive keyword with 1.3 million traffic potential. And as we can see for iPhone Pro Max, it's ranking number seven for that particular keyword. Now, why is that? Well, it's not because the content is amazing, as you can see. No offense to whoever wrote this. It's not because it's an easy keyword to rank for, as you can see, it's a KD55. It's not because the content matches the search intent of that particular keyword. But if we take this example URL right here and we go to Reddit, you can see that it's a DR95. That's pretty much as high as you can get when it comes to backlinks, right? So not just on a page level, but if you look across the whole website, this website has a domain rating of 95, which means it's a very highly powered domain, has a lot of authority. Now, if we plug in that particular URL that the keyword is ranking for, as you can see right here, you see it's getting 95,000 traffic. 95,000 traffic, that is pretty insane right there. And the main reason is because it's relying so heavily on its domain rating. Now let's look at some other examples of keywords that rank really well. So if we put in what are backlinks into HRS, right? Like so, we can see first of all that the keyword difficulty score is usually calculated by the number of backlinks you need to that particular website, right? So HRS estimates that even just to rank in the top 10, even to get a little sniff of that keyword, right? It requires 353 backlinks, very hard keyword to rank for, high traffic potential. And if we scroll to the first page of Google right here, we can see that the websites with the most backlinks, aka all of these DR, DR91 websites, are ranking because of their authority. Now, additionally, you can see that they have a lot of backlinks pointing to that individual page, right? And typically, what you'll see is the pages with the most backlinks, aka 6,900. This page has the most backlinks out of, all, out of all these top 10 rankings. Whereas, if, for example, we scroll down and we go down to, say, the second page of Google right here, you can see that. The pages with the least backlinks are at the bottom, right? And so to me, from the facts, only looking at the facts, nothing else, you can see that the pages with the most backlinks tend to rank at the top. The pages with the least backlinks tend to rank at the bottom. The pages with the most domain rating, aka the most backlinks pointing to the whole website, ranking at the top again. The pages with the least backlinks, let's look, for example, we scroll all the way down here. You can see a DR23. DR54, DR33, ranking at number 62. They're nowhere near the first page. Why is that? It's because their website doesn't have any domain rating pointing to it. So it's very clear. If you look at this research, you look at the case studies, you look at the facts for yourself and identify them. It's very clear that you can see backlinks are still the most important ranking factor. Now, there's a caveat to that because, for example, if you didn't have any content, then you wouldn't rank even if you had tons of backlinks to your website. If you didn't go for the right keywords, 
then you're not going to rank even if you create the right amount of content and build backlinks to your website, right? You need all three. But as you can see, in terms of figuring out how to rank for most keywords, backlinks still tend to be the most important ranking factor. Now, we can pull up some other data right here. And this is a fairly recent article, as you can see, from Ahrefs. So shout out to Ahrefs for creating this. So this was published in December the 1st, 2023. And it basically says that 96.55% of content gets no traffic from Google. That's pretty crazy. That means basically 97 out of 100 people who are creating content are totally wasting their time if they want to get traffic from Google. Now, let's look at the reasons why. So one of the most important reasons, as you can see right here, is that the page actually has no backlinks. And as you can see right here, it's quite a significant correlation in terms of how pages with more referring domains tend to get more traffic. Now, if we scroll to the top right here, we can look at how big this case study was, because if this was just measured across like 100 pages or one sort of keyword like we looked at today, that's not statistically relevant. But if we look at a case study like this, that actually covers 14 billion pages from Ahrefs, it's pretty crazy to see that. Now, the other big reason is because most people are not doing the keyword research properly and therefore the search has no demand. And these people are basically throwing darts in the dark, hoping they're going to hit bullseye. Obviously, it's never going to happen. But once you get beyond that, once you figure out how to do keyword research, and I talk a lot about that on my channel already, you can see that the second most important ranking factor in a case study of over 14 billion pages is backlinks. And we've found that as well, just in the searches we've done. Now, if we look at some other keywords, let's say, for example, like what is SEO, right? It's super hard keyword to rank for. Let's see what's ranking on the first page right here. And again, you can see it's mostly DR93 websites that are ranking on the first page of Google. They're big brands. The reason they have such a high DR, as I mentioned, is because they have so many backlinks pointing to it. You can even see that in terms of order, the top one, two, three, four results have thousands of pages. The bottom one, two, three results have hundreds of backlinks, right? So there's a big difference in the volume of backlinks that most of these sites are getting. If we scroll down to the second page again, it's mostly DR90s. And then if we scroll all the way down, we'll find a cheeky little 49 trying to hold its own right there, ranking at number 42. Same with this DR28 right at the bottom right there. It's just, it's, it's almost impossible for these small sites to compete on really difficult keywords. Now, I talk a lot about how to do keyword research on this channel, so I'm not going to cover that too much in depth today. But if you want to see another video on that, let me know. But it's just crazy to see this. As another example, you can see this post by Ferry Cazzoni that is pretty sarcastic. And basically, if you look at this keyword, Best Mattress 2024, you'll find that Forbes, goodhousekeeping.com, wired.com, these are all really high DR websites. As a lot of people watching this probably already know, this is kind of like a joke to say that domain rating just helps so much when it comes to ranking. It's basically overpowered. Now, there are going to be some keywords where you don't need to build backlinks directly to that page. Let's find some examples. And what we can actually do is if we type in and try and find DR zeros ranking in the top five for a keyword, so websites with no backlinks pointing to them whatsoever. And out of 7,500 keywords, let's fill that down. You can see that out of 7,500 keywords, websites with a domain rating of zero only rank out of 92 of them, right? I mean, if you did that as a case study, right? And you said, right, I looked at 7,500 pages to calculate what percentage chance a DR zero has of ranking in the top five, not even ranking number one you can see that DR zeros have like a 1.23 percentage chance of ranking. Now, that's not statistically relevant. That's not the most in-depth case study, but that gives you an idea for how difficult it is to rank if you don't have a high domain rating. Now, typically what you'll find sometimes is like, for example, if we check this particular keyword out right here, the domain rating zeros can rank. So websites without any backlinks at all can rank sometimes. But typically, these sites don't get much traffic at all. So if we check out this DR0.9 website, it's only getting 388 traffic, right? And it's been doing SEO since July 2023, so almost a year. And it's only managed to get 388 traffic. So that just gives you an idea of how important backlinks are. And bear in mind, like they have built a few backlinks, as you can see right here. 
The other thing to bear in mind is like, it might be the case that backlinks are overpowered right now and that they help rank a lot. But maybe in the future, Google is going to focus more on user engagement metrics and it's going to focus on the clicks and the engagement time on the website. And if so, potentially then the algorithm could be updated. But right now, backlinks still seem to be the most important ranking factor. And that doesn't happen overnight, right? It can take years to update the algorithm, but it's quite interesting to see. So thanks so much for watching. You now know the truth about backlinks. You've seen all the data, all the case studies, etc. If you want to learn how to build backlinks yourself, you can see I have over 10 link building tutorials right here inside my free course. Links inside the comments in the description. If you want to book in a free SEO strategy session where we can actually structure a link building game plan, look at your website, teach you the best link building strategies for your website and answer any questions that you have about backlinks directly on the call, feel free to book that in. That is a free SEO strategy session available in the comments. And if you want to see more examples of backlinks ranking and how to do it, I actually posted this example case study inside the SEO boardroom. You can see this website went from 4,500 to 28,000 traffic with link building. This is for one of our clients. The traffic just went up like crazy. Clear correlation chart right there. And we actually broke down the whole game plan step by step in terms of how many backlinks we built, what types of backlinks we built, and basically how to replicate it yourself step by step. So thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.